is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 2 of season 2 of Love Live Nishizaki School Idol Club. So, we're gonna get started in 3, 2, 1. Hold on. 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. That's better. It's not like a big stadium or something there, you guys. Like, you know, the superstar girls got. Kind of. Oh my god! this baby Yeah. I mean, yeah, well, it makes sense yet yeah, to get to know each other first and then get the work done, you know? Well, she's not really a part of their group. She's more of a solo girl. Which is okay. I'm cool with that. Emma. Of course.
just the freaking Misaki feels coming off of her. Like, oh my god, baby. Like, literally giving me best girl vibes from my cutscene. Like, the fucking queen. Ah! I'm hungry. Do I still have my snacks in here? Of course she is. But I am Mia. over here like I only need to be in school for three hours goodbye Well, you would think she would notify you. I mean, your friend, of course. Well, in a way, she is a prodigy. Oh, so she basically chew two from Bang Dream. Mm hmm Well, that's a lie. Aww. 
Then if you're not friends, why are you just acquaintances? So basically, in a way, you two are just like co-workers. Or partners, in a way. Fan site, damn. I wouldn't be surprised about that. Or you can just follow her. And it's funny because I literally just finished watching Spy X Family like a minute ago. <laughs> Show Kashimi. And besides, she's got to know that they're tailing her. Yeah. All nine. Wait. So we, we don't even get to see it. That's so mean. I would have liked to see it again. Because that song. Mwah. Yeah, so what else can you guys do? the bathtub
course she is. Yeah, she thinks it's better this way. Well, yeah. because you know she blew y'all away with that song last week yes Sure you were. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, like on a friendly level?
makes most sense. Because you are in a subgroup together. Now the question is, are we going to hear it though? too fast no 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 mm -mm. I went too fast too 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 fast hello fast mm -mm. no 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 I was ready to see the four of them perform but of course we gotta wait one more week okay that's okay in a weird way, listening to my second best girl and hearing her go against like Kotaha, Emma, um, Rina, and Kasumi, I understand like where she's coming from because of course she's kind of been like on her own and she's done her own things. So she's going to look at it a completely different way than being in a group. She feels like, as she said, that... If she's in a group, she can't reach her full potential. Think about all these groups, all these uh, in the music industry, and how, and I'm going to say this is more, more girl groups. 50 out of 50, it's sometimes boy groups as well, but more, like, bigger percentage for girl groups than boy groups. Okay. So, let's say we have a group of... <laughs> Okay, so let's say we have a group of four, four girls, and they're in a group together. They have been together since the beginning of time. Let's say since they were kids, but sometimes when you have the management of your family and it 50 out of 50 because of that, that could be one of the reasons of why you break up. And then in the end, one person, particularly from that group, wants to be a solo artist and she kind of just deserts the other three. Like she says, screw them, I'm on my own, I'm doing this. And she's still possibly one of the most successful, per well, singers out of that group. He, she, whoever. That's the same thing for even like guy, um, boy bands and guy groups. Like, the one guy group I'm thinking of now, which I think if you know who I'm thinking about, because I don't really listen to their music. I wasn't really their target audience at the time, but one of the guys in that singing group, I do like, but only when he went solo. Now the other one who every girl was freaking obsessed with, um, and I knew a couple of girls who was also obsessed with it. And my mom thought I was. And I was like, no. I was like, I know who they are. But I was like, I don't like them like that. Um, he has a song that is playing on the radio. And then I've heard all over TikTok. And that's probably the only song I like of him and such. But when it comes to, like, someone like, because someone's going to, this is probably going to show my age, like, in sync when our Backstreet Boys, when they broke up, and when Justin Timberlake, you know, came out and he was like, I want to be a solo artist. He is still one of the most highly successful um, singers of his group. No one is that top tier as him. I'm sorry. Straight up. But, and it, and it seems like that's what she wants to be. She doesn't want to have a group to kind of weigh her down and be like, oh, do this or do that or whatever. She wants everything on her own terms. And everything... By herself so that's kind of one of the reasons why I completely understand her 
wanting to do it by yourself because sometimes it is better doing it by yourself and next thing you know if you're in a group you're gonna bicker over so many different things and especially if you want something a certain way and if somebody else wants something a certain way there is there's always going to be conflict no matter what then i also want to say something about you you and and uh mia they're very similar to the girl from utena no Prinsama. how because okay going when I, going back and look at season one because I, I and going into this like I didn't think about it the first time, but I think when we got into episode one of the season and now clearly getting into the second episode, I was like, damn, like, yeah, you really remind me of her. Um, how she still gets her own storyline, aka you, but she's not, she's essentially a part of the group, but she just, she does her own different thing. She still is successful with the group, but she doesn't sing. And I, I actually, like, I'm, I'm still okay with that. I think at first I was like, eh, and, and my friend and I, we had a conversation about it a while ago, um, where he's kind of not okay with it. He, he and I were both expecting her to be a character that was going to be able to sing, going to be able to do like, um, idly things with everyone else. But because she is a character who was supposed to be us in the end, who loves idols and such, but wants to help them become, you know, bigger and better school idols and such. I can understand, like, why she wants to do that because of the fact that she says idling doesn't interest me as much as Ayamu and the rest of them are in love with it and their passions and stuff. But I do love the fact that with this show, and specifically with this show out of all of them, even if one character has a different dream from the other girls, everyone still supports her. So, yeah, I'm glad that, you know, you has her girlfriend and her girlfriend's girlfriends. <laughs> to support her in this time. Mia, what else can I say about Mia? Mia, like, once again, she is literally a female Jotaro from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. She acts so much like him, but I love her so much and I literally cannot wait to see what else she's going to bring to the table in these next coming weeks. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of season two of Love Live Miss Kiyosaki School Idol Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, later on in the day, of course, because I have to work for episode three. Bye, guys.